Welcome back. I'm Tanae and this is Oyang Beauty. In this video, we're going to be doing two more looks with the Juvia's Place Wahala 2 palette. I've done a three looks, I think, with the Wahala 1 palette. I will drop the card up here somewhere in a link down below in case you guys want to check that one out. This is the color story. I absolutely love this one. Like I said, this is the Wahala 2. Between Wahala 1 and Wahala 2, I actually like this one a little bit better. This is actually my second time filming this video. I actually filmed the first look about a month ago from the time that you're seeing this video. The second look I filmed about a week later or I rather attempted to film it a week later but the lighting was just really really bad. The look did not come out at all the way that I was wanting it to look so I just scrapped it and decided that I would reshoot it. it took me a couple of weeks to get back to it because I was filming, pre-filming for Uyang this and you know doing my everyday life you know that I do on a daily basis. This video was supposed to be one of the last videos for the month of November, but since it took me so long to get to the second look for this video, I just decided to go ahead and push it into December. So therefore it is now a Uyang this video, which I'm fine with. More content for the month of December. Can't go wrong with that. But as I said, I just absolutely love this color story and I love the formula. The mattes blend really, really well. They're very pigmented. The shimmers and metallics are very shiny and smooth and wet looking. The only shades in here that I'm not fond of are the pressed glitters. I could have done without those, but other than that, I absolutely love this palette. But let's go ahead and get into it and jump into look number one. I've already done my base products as usual. My blush is from Cover FX. It is the Mojave Mob, which is this beautiful pinky shade. I haven't pulled this one out in a while, so I thought I'd go ahead and get some use out of that one. My highlighter is the BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlight 6 Color Palette. As you guys know, I rarely pull from my palette, so I'm trying to pull from there more. The shade that I use today is Dream, which is this really beautiful peachy gold kind of shade. The BH Cosmetics Highlighter Formula, especially the one in this palette, is absolutely gorgeous. But I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to prime my eyelids. Primer I'm going to use is my Milani Eyeshadow Primer, and then we're going to put together our look. The first thing I'm going to do with this look is I'm going to take Yab, which is this kind of a salmony pink shade. I'm going to lay that all over my eyelid and above, close to my brow bone, as my all over base shade and my transition shade. I'm going to lay that up here into the crease and blend that out. We're going to take a really deep pinky hot pink shade that's going to go into our crease. But I just wanted to have something to kind of lay down for that shade to blend into. Lay it down in this eye too. I hope that my lighting is looking okay. I feel like I'm having a little bit of an issue with that. I think the lights that I got in my bedroom are a little too yellow. I think I'm going to have to switch them out and get some lights that are a little bit more white. I find that when I can film closer to the middle of the day, when the sunlight is coming directly from the window, the lighting looks really, really pretty. Unfortunately, I'm not always able to film during that time, so the lighting can kind of look off depending on what time of day it is that I'm filming. Now I'm going to take my Japonesque Detail Crease Brush here, and we're going to go into Too Much, which is that beautiful hot pink shade, just absolutely gorgeous. And we're going to lay that down into our crease area towards the outer corner just a little bit blending it into our transition shade that yab shade that is pretty beautiful pigmented color like i said in my first impressions video i noticed that the formula in this palette was more pigmented and just smoother than the first swahala palette i definitely prefer this one over the first one everything about this palette just overall I enjoy better. But we're just going to blend that on the outer corner going into the crease. I want to take just a little bit more of that Yab shade and bring it back in in the top. I have smaller hooded eyes so my eyeshadow space is a little bit less. So sometimes when I'm blending my crease shade into my transition shade, the transition shade can kind of disappear into the atmosphere. Now I'm going to take Dream, which is that kind of a royal blue purple shade. I'm going to lay that right in my outer corner. I want to kind of keep it concentrated right here. 
I don't want to blend it too much into the pink. Like I said, I mostly want it right out here. This is my e.l.f. detailed crease brush. As you can see, it's been well loved. The paint is starting to come off on the outside, but I absolutely love this brush. I'm going to continue using it until the bristles just fall apart because it is such a wonderful brush for when you want to do just those little small details, especially when you have eyes that are small like mine. It's really, really nice. Now I'm going to take the brush and I'm just going to softly blend it just to kind of diffuse the shadow just a little bit. Still keeping it focused on the outer corner. I'm going to take a little bit of Lust, which is this kind of a green shade right there. I'm going to lay that right along the lower lash line. I have the flat kind of angled in of my double-sided BH Cosmetics brush here. And really, I just want to press it right along the lash line. I don't really want this blown out. I just want it concentrated right along the lash base. It's a very pretty green. Let's press it right along that lash base. Now for the shimmer on the eyelid, I'm going to take my flat doe color brush here and I'm going to go into Rage, which is this really pretty purpley blue shimmer down there. I'm going to lay that all over my lid, just right in here. That's a very pretty purple. Oh, that is gorgeous. It's purple with like flecks of silvery gray in it. Just a really beautiful shade. I'm laying it down without a glitter base or glitter primer or anything like that. I haven't wet my brush either. The shade just seems to be going down really nicely without me having to do that. I'm very happy about that. I'm going to take just a little bit more of the Dream Shade and just kind of blend it into that shimmer. A nice little gradient, a nice little blend from one into the other. I'm going to finish off this look by taking Shikara, I think that's how you say it, this white kind of a silver shade here, and we're going to put that in the inner corner, and then this eye look will be complete. That is a very pretty shimmer. That is really beautiful. I'm going to take a little bit down on the lower lash line as well, kind of blending it into that green shade that we laid down. And the eye look is complete. I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to throw on my liner, my lashes, do my lips, and then we'll come back and we'll see the final look. All right, look one is complete. For lashes, I'm using my Natural Doll Medium. These are my Ioni lashes. You guys know how much I love these. My liner is my Urban Decay Perversion Liner in black. I've almost emptied this. I'm almost at the bottom of it. For lips, I'm using my Ruby Kisses Ultra Easy Lip Liner in red. This is such a smooth, creamy formula, and it's only $1. My lip shade is from Essence. It is a Color Boost Matte About Matte Liquid Lipstick in Funk you. It's a really beautiful hot pink shade. If you're looking for something to do, the Jeffree Star Prom Night shade, this is absolutely perfect for that. But that is look number one. Let's move on to look number two. <music> look number two. I am going to prime my eyelids real quick. I'm just going to go ahead and use my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer here since it's what I have in my basket. I don't really feel like going and like grabbing anything else. So that is what we are going to use today. Now for this look, I'm going to attempt a halo eye. I have not attempted this in a long time. The first time that I did one, I wasn't too happy with how it came out, but I think I took the shadow like just way too high and just it was just way too much. I think I have a better idea of how I need to do this. We're going to do a blue halo eye. I'm going to use 
Fury as my color and then I'm going to take I think I'm going to use Rage as the shade to go in the middle we will just have to see but first we're going to start with Fury and we are going to lay that on the outer and inner part of the eyes if you guys have ever seen or done a halo eye you know basically it's where the shadow is focused on the outer part of the eye and then the inner part and then you take a highlight shade and you just put that straight kind of down the middle of it basically you know haloing and highlighting the middle part of the eye. So we're just gonna pack this in here and then we're gonna slowly blend it out. I'm gonna try not to take it too high. Like I said, I remember the first time that I did a halo eye, it went all kinds of sideways. I was looking a little bit crazy, but you know, we're, we're all learning. It was the first time I'd ever done something like that. I didn't really know what I was doing. So hopefully this time it'll come out a little bit better. And we're gonna also focus right here. Just blend it into that inner part of the eye. Just kind of take it upwards like that. I have to kind of like pack it in because being over the age of 40, I have like a little bit of creasing in here. So I'm trying to make sure that I get it in there really, really good. So far, so good. Then I'm going to take a little bit more and just kind of blend it across the top like so. So far, it's coming out better than the first time I attempted a halo eye. I'm going to take a fluffier blending brush and then just lightly blend everything together. As you can see, I'm kind of doing one eye first and then I'm going to do the other. It's because I want to make sure that this one comes out right. Because like I said, you know, at the beginning of the video, when I tried to film this look the first time, it did not come out well. It just, it was not looking good at all. Now I'm going to take a flat blending brush. This is the one from Joa. I absolutely love this one. This is one I think is perfect for laying down a shimmer base. And we're just going to go into Rage, which is right here. And I'm going to use that as that highlighting shade. Go kind of down the middle. And we're just going to lay that in the blank space right in here. I grab my Bolero Face Mist here. I think I want to wet this shade just to give it a little bit more shine. So I have it on my brush. I'm gonna spritz it. Sometimes wetting a shade, a shimmer or metallic can help give it just a little more pop. We're just gonna focus that down in this middle area. Oh wow, yeah, definitely wetting the brush was definitely the key. I think I'm gonna blend a little bit of greed into that. I just want it a little bit brighter. Yeah, there we go. That's what we're going for. That is so pretty. Wow. Now I'm going to take a little bit more Fury. And we're just going to kind of blend everything together. I want to take a little bit more on that outer part of the eye right here. Same thing with the inner part. And just blend. Okay, yeah. That looks so much better than when I attempted a halo eye the first time. It just went the first time. Now I'm going to take this kind of a pointy pencil eyeshadow brush and I think I'm going to go into Lust. I want to put just a little bit of that on the lower lash line just to add a little something down there like so. I was going to put it on this side. <laughs> I haven't, haven't completed that eye yet. And I'm going to put a little bit of something in the inner corner. I'm going to take Shakira and we're just going to lay that right there just to add a little bit of brightness and my halo eye is complete that actually went faster than i was expecting it to i'm going to recreate this on this side throw on my liner and my lashes then we'll come back we'll throw on some lips and then we'll do our final thoughts and we're back this is the final look what do you guys think i think it came out pretty good it definitely came out better than the first time that i attempted to put this video together i'm still not sure if i'm a fan of the halo eye look for my particular eye shape but i do believe that it came out better than it did the first time my liner is my urban decay ink eyeliner pen i think i used this in the first look i'm not sure but i think that i did my lips are the rk lip pencil in red and then my lip shade is the velvet lip mousse from la colors this shade is in silky but that is the end of look number two let's go on to our final thoughts so overall guys i really do love this palette and like i said i actually like this one a little bit more than the first Valhalla palette if you don't have the first one and you're just wanting to get one of the two I would say go with this one. I just I just think the formulas and the shades and tones and everything in this one are just a little bit better 
than the first one, but both palettes are absolutely beautiful. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you hit subscribe and join my little family. And if you'd like to be notified of any videos that may be coming up in the future, just be sure to tap the notification bell down below. You'll be notified each and every time. Be safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.